Hello everyone and welcome. Today I wanted to talk about a fun way to take any coffee and turn it into a delicious espresso using the Malconig EK43. This grinder is used in many, many coffee shops and if you are thinking to yourself right now that yours is just too coarse to possibly make espresso, I'm gonna show you why that's not true. Here at the Pallet Coffee Roastery where I work in Vancouver, we have our EK set to a pretty coarse range of grind sizes. Our pour overs are typically coming out about 10 and a half. So I can understand your hesitation and I was skeptical myself at first, but let's just go through this step by step and if you can make this work for you in the way that it works for us, then you gain an entirely new functionality for the EK that is just really fun to do. First things first, we weigh out our dose of coffee. For me, it's 18 grams. Pick something interesting as well. Again, it can be any coffee you want. I love coffees that are naturally processed or with extra steps of fermentation. Those big, juicy, sweet notes come through really nicely as an espresso. Next, we grind our coffee at the finest setting. Now, this is where things get a little bit different between shops. And we are going to talk about this in more detail later on, but for now, try it at the finest setting. Pass the grounds over to the basket, and in our case, we're using this little cup. Distribute the grounds evenly with a few taps or groom it with your fingers. And so far, nothing is really different from a regular shot of espresso. Except now, when you go to tamp your espresso, you want to give it a special kind of tamp called a nutating tamp. This is where we rotate around the edges in a circular motion as we push down. The grounds will be forced together in a more compact way, where they will push into each other in several directions and create a more interlocking system of coffee particles. This slows the flow of water through the bed of coffee, and it's our first step in making up for the slightly coarser grind of the EK. And as an example, you can see here the difference it makes. But now you might have noticed that the coffee still comes out quite quickly, even with the special tamp. But don't worry, that is actually okay, because there is one more thing that we can do here to offset the slightly coarser grind, and that is to pull a longer shot. By increasing the yield of our espresso from about 36 grams to 50 grams, it doesn't really matter that the water is not spending as much time in contact with the coffee, because that extra water that we're putting through is doing all of the extracting that we want. And with our setup, the shots tend to run between 10 to 20 seconds with some absolutely stunning results. When I first tried this method, it was a 12 second shot with 50 grams of espresso, and I thought, oh man, like, what am I about to drink? When I took that first sip, I was immediately stunned at how clean and balanced the coffee was. There was loads of sweetness and acidity balancing each other out, and there was just tons of flavor. You do miss out on the heavier body or texture of the espresso, but I don't really mind that when it tastes this good. But let's go back to grind for a second, because as I'd said before, your grinder is probably calibrated differently than ours, and what zero is for us is probably not going to be the same as zero for you. So if you try this yourself, one of two things could happen. First, the grind may actually be fine enough that you can pull a more traditional style of espresso with 18 grams in, 36 grams out, in 25 to 30 seconds. If this happens, it's not actually a bad thing. You can either stick with the traditional setup, or you can go a little coarser with a larger yield to replicate what we've been talking about. You would be fairly lucky actually to have both options. The second case would be if you are at zero, but you still don't think it's fine enough. If your shots are coming out in less than 10 seconds and you're trying to stop it at 50 or 60 grams, and they're tasting sour or flat. This would be a more unfortunate circumstance, and the only thing you could really consider doing is pull a longer shot. You could go to 80 or 100 grams to see if the taste ever balances out, but it starts to become more and more like drip coffee, and it's an option, but it's not a great one. I suppose the other thing you could do is add more coffee. You could go to 19 grams or 20 grams if your basket allows for it. The hope would be that you add more resistance to the water with more coffee, but then you've also still got more coffee to extract overall, and so it might still be a matter of just pushing more water through. So just to recap what has been working for us, we typically find that on our EK, the zero or the 0 0.1, 0 0.2 is working best with 18 grams of coffee in, about 50 grams of coffee out, 
within 10 to 20 seconds. And some of the best ones that I've tried have actually been closer to 10 seconds, which is still kind of counterintuitive and it really challenges how you think about espresso, but it's delicious. I should also mention that this idea is not exactly new. For those interested, you can actually watch Matt Perger do his World Barista Championship routine back in 2013, where he basically introduced these concepts to the world. I believe the nutating tamp was an original idea of his, and he was also hugely influential in having more cafes use EKs, which was not very common at all before his presentation. But really, I hope that this video made things feel more accessible to you. If I have a goal for this channel, it's that I can help people demystify complex coffee knowledge, and that you can be working as a barista in your own cafe and still play around with fun, nerdy coffee stuff, and you don't have to go out and buy your own gear or ask the owner for an investment. This is a perfect example of something you can go do tomorrow in your cafe if you've got an EK. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you tried this method or something similar that uses the same concept? Also, please take a moment to subscribe and like this video. It really helps me out a lot. And as you may know, I am also on the Buy Me A Coffee platform, where you can support me as a small content creator for as little as $1. Any amount really helps me out and helps me to continue making videos that you guys love. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all again in the next video.